Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. I went to Twitter, had you guys ask me some questions, and so today I'm going to be answering the questions within this video. Without further ado, let's get started. What are my fingers doing? They doing a little pointy dance. Point, 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 dance, dance, dance. Tips for staying away from Hamilton. Stay off the internet, don't have any friends, and rip your ears off. How excited are you for the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children movie? I literally have a moment every day where I think about the movie and I just flail a little bit because I'm super excited for this movie. I just get taken over by all this excitement. I can't believe one of my favorite books is being turned into a film. Holy poop. I know that there are a few things that they've changed and I'm a little bit iffy about those changes, but I know that it's going to be a great adaptation. What book cover most matches your aesthetic? That's such a good question, but also such a hard one to answer. I think I think I'm gonna have to go with Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. First up, it's blue. Second up, the typography is on point. Thirdly, it's blue. Fourthly, it's got a bird on it. I like birds. Okay, I don't care about birds. I just like the fact that this cover is blue. I love this color of blue and it matches my aesthetic. Did you guys know that I like the color blue? Have you been playing Pokemon Go? If so, how many have you caught so far? I have been playing Pokemon Go and I really like it even though I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I literally just go and catch Pokemon and I know that you're supposed to like train them, but is that like all you do? You just, you just train the Pokemon and they level up? and you just keep doing that, cause like, that's not very entertaining to me. Like, I'd rather like, I don't know, go kick some butt with my Pokemon, but I don't know what the heck I'm doing. If somebody can explain this app to me, that would be great. I have found three Pokemon. I have had more than that in the past, but they were just all duplicates. So I got rid of some of my duplicates, but I have a Ratatada, whatever that is, a Pidgey and a Squirtle. And I think the Squirtle is my favorite cause it's like a little turtle and I like turtles. Do you have a favorite Taylor Swift song? I feel like it changes all the time, but I'll just go album by album telling you my favorite from each album because she has a lot of music out there. My favorite song from her debut is Should Have Said No. From Fearless, it's You Belong With Me. From Speak Now, it's Enchanted because that song gives me the feels every time I listen to it. From her album Red, I love, 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 Stay, Stay, Stay. It's such an underrated song and I love it. And from 1989, it's New Romantics. Are you still writing? Do you have any current plans for it? I am still writing, but I've totally taken a break from writing. I needed to take a step back because I've been putting a lot of pressure on myself and it really put me in a bad headspace and I needed to get out of that headspace. I feel like there's going to be really high expectations when I put out a book and for some reason that has become a writer's block for me. I just sit down and I'm like every word that I write down on this paper has to be perfection when in reality I have to work to that point. I've also been trying to get out of this rushed headspace because for a while there I was like I need to write this book tomorrow and get it out to the people next week and I really don't want to rush my my first book because if you rush it, it's probably not going to be very good. And I want to put out a quality book. So I really needed to take a step back to kind of realize all these issues that I've been facing and kind of understand how I can work through them. So I'm going to take my time and make sure that I'm really putting out something that I'm proud of. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Well, hopefully I'll be married and have a kid and have some books out there in the world. Marvel or DC? Marvel all the way. But the only reason I marvel all the way is because I haven't been exposed to much of DC's work. I've really only been exposed to Marvel stuff and I pretty much have loved everything that I've seen and read from Marvel. So that's why I'm leaning more on the Marvel side and less on the DC side. What's your favorite thing about being a booktuber? Getting the chance to interact with people all around the world and meet people in real life where you just have an instant connection because you're connected because of your love of books. If you could collaborate with one person in the whole world, who would you collaborate with? Honestly, I would love to do a video with Lemony Snicket. I know that he has this crazy awesome personality and I think that it would translate well on camera and I would love to just like do like an interview with him or do some kind of fun bookish video with him. So hopefully one day I'll get the chance to do that. Even though I will admit that I'm super intimidated by him. I have seen him in real life and I avoided him like the plague. What graphic novel is your go-to recommendation for someone just starting out? Definitely Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. It's about a shapeshifter who teams up with a villain and together they get into all sorts of different kinds of shenanigans. And it's just a great place to start for people who are looking to get into graphic novels. What is your favorite Victoria Schwab slash V.E. Schwab book. I like them all for different reasons. I have yet to read a Victoria Schwab book that wasn't five stars. Every book that I've read of hers, I've given it a five out of five stars. Her books are just top notch. And if you haven't read any of her books, you need to read some of her books because they're great. But I'd say if you're wanting to start out with one of her YA books, definitely check out The Archived. It's my all-time favorite. It's my first book that I read by her and just completely fell in love with. As for her adult books, you gotta start with Vicious. You gotta, gotta, gotta start with Vicious. Very important. If you could only 
eat potato foods, which would be your favorite? Baked, mashed, fries, etc. I feel like I'd end up turning into a potato if I could only eat potatoes for the rest of my life. But I'm gonna go with fries, I think. I don't know, I feel like any option, I would just end up puking all day every day because I love potatoes. But I feel like if I eat too much of potatoes, I just wanna like vomit all over the place. So I guess I'll just go with fries. But either way, I'm gonna vomit. What are five of the best things that have happened to you because of booktube? Holy moly, this is gonna be hard, but I will try to give you five of the best things that have happened to me because of booktube. Number one is definitely like the best friends that I've made through booktube. I didn't have a lot of friends growing up. In fact, I only had one or two really true friends that really stuck by me and who I still call friends today. I had a lot of fake friends that just used me all throughout high school. And it's really refreshing to have friends now that really love and appreciate me and do amazing things for me. Number two would have to be the Library of Souls event that I got to do with Ransom Riggs. I got to do an event with my all-time favorite author. What's better than that? I don't even know. Number three is being able to stretch my mind creatively. Because doing booktube, I feel like you have to constantly come up with ideas, and it's really pushed me in a very creative way. Number four, weirdly enough, it's given me a thick skin and I'm so thankful that it has. When you put yourself out there on the internet, people will criticize you over every little thing that you do. And when I first started out, that was literally something that I could not handle. It's still something that I'm not very good at handling, but I've gotten a lot better at it. I remember in 2014, there was a month where it just got to me. I just couldn't take it anymore. And so I decided that like, I was just gonna take a break from making videos. So I took a whole month and a half off from making videos because for some reason, all these people who think they know me, but don't know me at all, their nasty and negative words really got to me and it made me not want to post videos anymore. But it really pushed me to face the criticism and to realize that people can say whatever they want, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna stand behind who I am and I am just gonna be 100% myself. Number five, it's given me loads of confidence, which is something that I did not grow up with. I'm still very insecure and I'm still working through a lot of my insecurities, but this platform has really helped me work through those insecurities and I am forever grateful for that. Why don't you want to listen to Hamilton? because everyone else in the world listens to Hamilton, so why do I need to listen to Hamilton? What is the last word you read from your most recent read? At the time of filming this video, I am currently reading This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab, and the last word that I read from that book was... Anymore! <gasps> Spoilers! What equipment do you use for your vlogs and main videos? I use a Canon 60D for filming main channel videos. I use a Canon G7X for my vlog channel. I also use a lighting kit and it is the Limo Studio 700 watt softbox lighting. You can look that up on Amazon and it'll give you a picture of what that looks like. Are you going to participate in the Booktubeathon this year? I'm actually not able to participate in the Booktubeathon this year, which makes me so sad because last year I wasn't able to participate either, but I'm traveling to New York and going on a big adventure so I'll be missing the booktube -thon, but I think it's actually happening right now as this video is going live. So if you're participating, I hope you're doing well. Keep on slaying it. Books are your passion and that's great, but what other things are you into? I love photography. I was surrounded by photography growing up. My mom is a photographer, so I've always been exposed to photography and it's always been a big passion of mine as well because I looked up to my mom and I was like, I want to be like my mommy. So I have always loved photography. I also just really love exploring. Like that's a big hobby of mine. I really enjoy just doing spur of the moment little trips. I'll just walk out to my car, get in it, and just start driving. And I enjoy finding like hidden gyms throughout my town. I also just love traveling out of state. Like I said, I'm currently in New York while this video is going live. So I'm currently exploring New York City and hopefully having the time of my life. I don't know. So those are all the questions that I'm going to be answering today. I want to ask you guys a question to answer down in the comments. And that's the last question that I was asked because I would love to know what you guys are passionate about besides reading and books. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so click subscribe if you want to be notified for when I post new videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye, chew. Big music. Mine compromise. Madness.